Hi everyone. Today I'm going to speak about a topic that I've been asked a lot about over the years and that is arranged marriages. You know, what are they? Who's having them? Do they work? You know, arranged marriages come with a very negative connotation often. Um, and it's unfortunate because, you know, I think that they work just as much um, and often sometimes more, you know, as love marriages. Um, and they've gotten this kind of bad rap. Um, now, I'm a proponent, obviously, of arranged marriages, um, but certainly not the ones where, you know, you're, you're being forced or coerced uh, into being married. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, two consenting adults who have agreed to allow uh, someone else to make that decision for them or, you know, um, just, you know, are not in love at the time they make that decision. Personally, of course, it would be difficult for me to not be in love before I got married, but I support those of those of you who have chosen the path of arranged marriages. And I'm hoping that this post today will um, kind of dispel some myths about what arranged marriages are. So, you know, firstly, there's there's not um, one type of arranged marriage. Um, and there are, you know, different categories. And one of the first categories is probably um, what people really think about when they think of arranged marriages, and that is um, the blind marriage. That is kind of what you think of, you know, um, probably when, for example, think of a blind date. You know, you don't know the person, you meet for the very first time at the wedding ceremony, and um, and you get to know each other after your your, your wedding. Now, th this could be super scary um, for a lot of people, um, and it's it's completely understandable, of course, that 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 it's not something that um, not everyone will understand. But these marriages can work. My grandparents were married this way. Um, they had never met. They knew very little about each other. Their parents had made that decision for them, and um, they were happily married until my grandfather passed away. So. These marriages, while scary, um, can be quite successful. The other type of arranged marriage is, you know, I know you, but I don't. So this is where um, you might know who that person is that you're going to get married to. Uh, maybe your parents have made that decision for you. Um, and you, again, really speak for the first time after your uh, wedding ceremony. Um, now, this is this is the type of marriage that um, a lot of um, of my parents' generation um, were seen to be doing um, in the in the Indian culture. My so my parents were married this way, where my mom knew who my father was um, prior to getting married. She had seen him, um, knew of him, but had never spoken to him, and um, got to know each got to know him after uh, they they were they were married. So the third type of marriage is what I like to call the introduction. Uh, this is the type of marriage um, where, uh, you know, the parties are introduced by their parents with the, you know, understanding that, you know, they make a decision, uh, perhaps that day even, uh, that whether they're going to be getting married. And, um, I, there are people of my generation, absolutely, that um, have been married this way, and even in my own family that are now almost 15 years married uh, this way, uh, happily. So uh, something that you, you see um, uh, quite, quite commonly, actually, um, in the Indian culture, and as you can see, arranged marriages have evolved, um, but with the same uh, foundation, which is somebody else is kind of making that decision for you. The last type of marriage um, under the arranged marriage umbrella would be, you know, dating after the arrangement. That is where, you know, perhaps your parents again have made that decision for you and uh, you date your fiance at this point uh, until you're married. And, you know, oftentimes, you know, you will grow to like or love that individual, uh, or you know, you you don't, and that that occurs or doesn't occur after marriage. But in all of these types of uh, relationships, 
what's important to note is that if both parties have the same sort of values and ideology about what marriage is, then absolutely it can work. And hopefully they will like each other and, and learn to love each other, um, you know, as, as the relationship grows. And, and that's obviously the hope for everyone. And they are just as successful, if not, um, like I say, more sometimes than um, love marriages that we see in the Western world because they are, love is kind of sometimes a bonus. Right. So in, in the in the Western world, often, if we if we love each other, and we're only really focused on that. Um, then once the love, if, if the love goes away or once the love goes away, what are you left with? You, you know, and um, arranged marriages are kind of brought um, to the forefront with the understanding that um, everything else needs to be in place you know there needs to be some sort of an equal partnership or you're both you know one person is providing this financial security one person is providing um you know uh, another type of emotional or um another need that is required and and you move forward that way so um the love is uh in some ways secondary but you know obviously something that um i think all everyone strives for to some degree so Hopefully, uh, this has uh, helped you understand arranged marriages a little bit better. So the next time you hear it, you're not um, frightened away. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in. Please uh, join me next time so I can tell you like it is.